right, guys, welcome back to the Forge Ahead Men's Podcast. We're talking about work, uh, how we live at work, how we operate at work, and this week I want to talk about integrity. You know, a synonym for integrity would be the word sincere, and what I like about the word sincere is a great picture we get from the Latin. In Latin, the word sincere is made up of two words that literally would translate without wax. And here's how that word came to being. Uh, potters back in the day would make this beautiful pottery and they would sell it and of course those who were very rich and wealthy had all kinds of pieces of pottery in their home but occasionally you'd have a, a, a potter who maybe um, wasn't the best uh, businessman with the greatest sense of integrity and he might have a piece of pottery that was not well made and that cracked and so what he would do is he would he would spread wax in that crack and the wax would really be hidden unless you held the pottery up to the light and when you held the pottery up to the light, you could see the light coming through the wax and you knew that was not a good or not a very valuable piece of pottery. And so the idea of having integrity or being sincere is being without wax. It means that you could be held up to the light and you're still gonna look just the same. Integrity means that you're the same whether anyone's watching or, or not. You're the same when you're alone as when you're out in front of people, when you're home as when you're at work. And it's important for us as men to have integrity at work because, as we discussed a couple of weeks ago, we're representing the Lord. We're working for Him. Listen to these words from Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 9. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his ways crooked will be found out. You know, when you walk in integrity, you don't have to worry about being found out because your story is always the same. Your action's always the same. No one's going to find out anything about you that's a great shock or surprise. And then also in Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 7, uh, the writer of Proverbs says, The righteous who walks in his integrity, blessed are his children after him. You know, you want your children to be blessed. You want them to follow you as a man of integrity. You want your family name to be known as a name that, that bears uh, the meaning of integrity. As you think about work this week, uh, think about all that you do and ask yourself, is there integrity in the things that I do and does that honor the Lord?